green screen has officially gone native in Switcher Studio 10.0 and I'm going to show you how you set it up in the app. You're going to log into your Switcher dashboard and you can do that quite simply by going over to switcherstudio.com. Once you've logged in, go over to experimental features and you'll see the enable chroma key green screen background removal is either off or on. Make sure it's toggled on and then pull to refresh in your app to ensure that the feature is available. So as you can see behind me, I have got a green screen that covers the majority of the wall behind me. So I'm going to start with this. If you want to use green screen, you can use any green cloth. But the good thing about this that's collapsible is that it doesn't have any wrinkles and it doesn't show any imperfections in your overlay. So if we go into the app then, you can basically find any camera. Basically, you want it to be a camera that's face on, allowing you to have the green screen behind you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in this camera. So we're gonna go to input and then we're gonna go to iPhone 14 Pro. And as you can see, I'm in front of the camera. You can see there's a green screen behind me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on and long press on the camera source. So you click on the camera source and then you go to edit properties and you'll see here as we're going in and you can see there's full screen and overlay I want this to be overlay and it goes small size and I'm just going to reduce the transition duration to about 0.5 I'm going to switch on chroma key enable I'm going to change the color of my chroma keys because it's a darker green I'm going to just approximate it to around about that and you can see then that I can then increase and decrease the size of my overlay. Now you see there's a bit of a shaded green area in the background. We can tweak this by changing the chroma key range and you can see that it is slides along and you can actually take out some of that green hint at the back until it goes away. And then you can go underneath to chroma key softness. You can change how intense it is or how not. The edge desaturation will be able to change the quality thus far and obviously it can take away the greenness around your head as well and the chroma key alpha crop you can see similarly to before just takes away that green and you're left with a good nice transparent background overlay you can change the size of this and i'm just going to bring myself down here and i'm going to leave my settings as that i'm going to click done and as you can see then my camera is set up with a transparent background now what we're going to then do is we're going to bring in another camera angle so i could basically have my top down view for my keyboard for example and then I can bring in my overlay on top so you can see now that I'm there and I can then do my tutorial as usual if I wanted my face view and I wanted to bring in a different backdrop what I could do is I could change the angle to say a static image and then I could do starting shortly so I could do starting shortly I can use videos as well so for example I could just change the backdrop if I wanted to just take this one off, maybe change it to a different video. I can change that and then add me on top and then there I go. I have got the ability now to natively include myself as an overlay from a main camera source against the green background. So you can see here, I'm still in my green background, but with my front facing camera, I can do this as well and bring myself in, change my camera angles, do my tutorials, and do my multi angles over the top and I can then tap the source to include me or delete me from the scene. I could even bring in my computer screen and do tutorials from there. So the applications for this are absolutely phenomenal. So just with your mobiles and a green screen, you too can now have a green screen for your production that doesn't require any third party app. Make sure that you've enabled this feature as an experimental feature within your Switcher Studio dashboard, like I said at the beginning, and the world is your oyster. Go and have fun. See you in the next video.